welcome back to my channel. I'm Cynthia and this is Keen Adventures. Aveiro is the last city on our list that we're looking to possibly move to in Portugal. It's the Venice of Portugal. It has several canals that run through it as well as the beautiful boats that go up and down it. So it's kind of a very lovely, I want to say touristy place to live. It's about 45 minutes south of Porto. So it's very close to Porto. You can grab a quick train right up to Porto for about seven euros one way. It only takes about 50 minutes at the most. It's direct and apparently it runs about 40 times a day. So getting to Porto, getting to healthcare, getting to a major city would be extremely easy from this small little city. It only has about 80,000 inhabitants, which is slightly larger than the city we live in currently, Petaluma. So it would be a good size for us. We do like the idea of living in a smaller city. We do like the idea of it being very picturesque, right on the seaside, ocean side. And I think that'd be kind of appealing to us. Also, it has many festivals during the year, as do most cities in Portugal, including the wine festival that occurs in the fall, as well as the chocolate festival in the fall. So both of these would be very fun to go to without a doubt, and I would enjoy them very much. The cost of living in Aveiro is comparable to Braga, so it is fairly inexpensive to live there. I want to say it runs 3300 so living in Aveiro would save you about 400 euros a month, which would allow you to travel quite a bit more, which is what we want to do. There, there are several apartments within the city center that would be very appealing for us. They're relatively inexpensive. You can easily get a T2, two bedroom or T3 for less than $1,500 a month. And they are beautiful, large apartments. I think that if we were to live there, we'd first rent there just to feel out the area because it is smaller and to kind of decide if that's the way we want to go. But it looks like a beautiful area. The weather there is similar to Porto. It's only 45 minutes south of Porto, so it'd be very similar weather conditions. It has easy access to everything. So I think that would be very nice. There is an international airport in Porto that you could get that we could get to very conveniently. Plus it is only about two hours um, north of Lisbon. So you're kind of in between both cities with easy access via the train. So there would be little to no need for a car there if you lived in the city center. You could just take the bus, the train system throughout and that would make it easy and a little bit more convenient not having to worry about parking your car. And touch about the quality of life in Aveiro. It is extremely high. It ranked 164 on the quality of life index. So people are very happy there and that's nice. I wanna live in a happy place, who wouldn't? So that's just some of the things we're thinking about Avira. And I think when we go visit in January, this will be one of the top places on our list to see if we wanna move there initially, kind of fill out the country, see if this is the place for us. I like the idea of being right on the seaside, being near the canals, being in a very happy city. I like the fact that the cost of living is fairly inexpensive there, that there's easy access to Porto, that a simple train ride up there, a direct train ride is only six, six to seven euros, and it only would take about 45, 50 minutes. I think that's fabulous. I don't know if you could beat that anywhere else. We're outside of San Francisco here about the same distance, but it takes about an hour and a half and there's no train direct there at all. And the only option is to drive through traffic. So that's not appealing at all. But Avera sounds like a beautiful town and it's someplace we definitely will think about when we look to move over to Portugal in May of 2024. Let me know if you think we should move there and what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's go.